guys, in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you how I made one of these battery clips. Here it is connected to a battery, working a simple circuit. Stay around to the end of the video to see me take apart a battery and show you what's inside. A while ago, I needed one of these battery clips for a circuit I was making, and I just bought a load, but I couldn't find any anywhere. Here is what I made. All I did was take apart a battery. You can see the metal casing here. And then inside, I found this. And I also found part of this. So I found this bl plastic black thing, which you can recognize from the outside of the battery. And I also found this metal strip wrapped in this cardboard. This was connected to the positive side of the battery here. And then this side, of course, was connected to the negative side of the battery. And then all I did was solder two wires, which you can see here, to each side of the battery. Here it is connected to a battery working a simple circuit. I'm now going to take apart this battery to show you what I found inside of it. I have some newspaper and I have some gloves just in case there's any harmful chemicals inside the battery. I'm going to start off by taking off the metal casing, which is one of the only things that you have to do. Here I am taking apart the metal casing, and you can see here I'm struggling a little bit. But once I'd peeled away the edges from the top part of the battery, I could just pry the battery open. The first thing I took out was this stack. This is not too dissimilar from the original first electric battery ever created by Alessandro Volta. The original I'll put on screen here. And this voltaic pile would have probably been pairs of copper and zinc discs piled on top of each other, separated by a layer of cloth, maybe, I think, soaked in brine. In our case, though, this may be zinc and carbon separated by some form of electrolyte gel. This, however, is the part you want to use. You can take that metal bit off since you don't need it. And you don't even need this cardboard. You can just take that off and there should be a metal bit behind which you can solder your wire to. But I just soldered it to the two visible metal parts you can see. The actual part you've seen me take from the battery in this video, I've actually used in my mini amp project. You can see it in use here. And I've also made two videos on how I made this for the electronics and the box. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good day. Bye!